I've been meaning to share all about the energy of Elon Musk for a while. So I wanted to do this video. I've been talking about the energy of Elon Musk on my podcast for the last couple of years. And I find him fascinating. Uh, energetically, um, this is what I have been receiving about Elon Musk. Firstly, he's really not from this planet. He really has an extra terrestrial energy about him. So it's fascinating to see that his energy is all about new technology, um, going to space, creating robots, um, and really progressing the future technology of our world and our society. But um, we have to remember that he is the richest man in the world. And the energy that comes up, and I think this is going to be something that he's really going to have to face, is he wants to be seen as a, phil a philanthropist. He wants to be seen that he's doing the best for the world that we live in, to better it, to make it better um, for us to live, to make things easier for us, and also obviously looking at Mars, and so if our planet does really go wrong, that we have uh, another place to go. But... It really feels like Elon Musk is out for Elon Musk. It really feels like he is going to be tested and there does feel like it, he will end up turning on our humanity. Um, yeah, and it's a shame because I want to see um, the best in him. Um, but energetically, every time I tune in on him, it feels off. It feels like um, the energy isn't supposed to be trusted. Um, it feels that uh, he's here to be seen, to be put on the pedestal for people to, yeah, want to rely on him for the change and transformation. So I think over the next 20 to 30 years, we are really going to be seeing this polarity of Elon Musk um, where our world might come to rely on him, but in the end, um, it's about power. Have we not learned that when we give one person all the power, the impact that that has on our planet and our world, um, especially when large sums of money are involved. So if we become, you know, uh, technologically um, dependent on one person and that the entities and the companies that they own, whether it's social media, um, going to space, um, batteries, he owns uh, a lot of the intellectual property around our future battery resources for the things that we need in our homes. And then you throw in robots and cars and drones and spaceships and all the other things that he wants. Oh, and you can't forget, you know, uh, the implants as well. Um, and all the other future technology things that he hasn't even released yet. But um, be wary. Be wary energetically um, with it because he's very clever around creating distractions. He's very clever around manipulating the news and how he is seen but you can only keep that up for so long. Yeah, I'm interested to see where it goes, especially with all his children. He has a real big thing about um, procreation as well. Um, yeah, and I think that is still to be explored and what that looks like for him. Hey, maybe he's got some crazy technology that he is bringing in around... Uh, uh, preserving um, procreation and life for the future, um, some clever cryo things or um, preserving brains, you never know, on dreams. Watch this space. Thank you for watching. If you have liked this video, please like, leave a comment below. What are your thoughts around Elon Musk and the energy of Elon Musk when you have a tune in? Or maybe you've received your own channeled insights and downloads about Elon Musk. Please 
share in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video and you want to watch more of my videos, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks. Bye.